Hi everyone, I'm Alan from Healthy Kitchen 101. Toaster ovens are on the rise as an alternative to full-size or traditional wall ovens. However, each model has its own strengths and weaknesses. This is why we have developed foolproof, consistent testing procedures so that we can evaluate the product in a fair manner. We selected, purchased, and reviewed a variety of highly rated and popular products on Amazon. Some of the top sellers that we have here include the Kosori Air Fryer Toaster Oven, the Ninja Food DXL Pro, the Cuisine Art Air Fryer Toaster Oven, and so on. Our hands-on experience, combined with knowledge from different experts, allowed us to be thorough when designing our tests. We also consulted user reviews to find out which features matter most to consumer and apply them to our scoring table. Our reviews divide the total score into three main aspects performance 50%, design 25%, and usability 25%, all of which consist of small tests. Every score is presented on a scale of 0 to 10 for easy following. Performance takes up 50% of the overall score of a toaster oven. The toaster performance is important because it justifies the price before purchase. During use, it dictates user satisfaction and whether they would buy the oven again or recommend it. Performance also involves design and usability. To thoroughly evaluate performance, we decided on four small tests for four foods commonly cooked in a toaster oven. They are toast, pizza, whole roasted chicken, and french fries. Easy and straightforward toast without having to buy a separate toaster is one of the main selling points of a toaster oven. This is why the test for making toast is one of our most crucial category, taking up 40% of our performance score for a toaster oven. Making toasted bread was the test that went through the most trial and errors, while the other tests like baking pizza and air frying fries and roasting chicken took only around 16 hours to develop. Making toast took us more than 40 hours to finalize. After going through different types of bread, we settled on the most basic white bread that anyone can get anywhere. However, the process convinced us to add more common varieties in the near future. We realized right away that we need to toast the bread at room temperature. However, it wasn't after three batches that we found that the slight differences in size and weight of each slice of bread also affected the outcome. We noticed that some models could only fit four slices of bread while claiming to fit six. In addition, not all of them toasted bread evenly, which could indicate an even heat distribution. Our evaluation was based on the best batch of toasted bread the oven could produce. The best option here refers to the level that produces the closest to perfect medium toast, which is what most people prefer. We take sample photos of three tested toast levels, including the best, one level lighter, and one level darker from the best that you can use as a reference. The scoring components for the toast test include even surface color, 20%, the toast color and its evenness, an even surface color reflects the oven's even heat distribution. It also affects how crispy the outside of the toast is. Taste, 50%. The taste of the toast is affected by its texture on the outside and on the inside, as well as the even surface color. While subjective, taste is the deciding factor of good toast. Therefore, the components that are made of the taste of each piece of toast are personally evaluated by our head chef. Consecutive usability, 30%. The oven's performance in two consecutive batches of toast without letting the oven cool down. If you're making toast for your family, you'll probably make more than four slices of bread or one batch at a time. Pizza is one of the most common food items in the world. So it's safe to say that the ability to produce a good one is a crucial feature for toaster ovens. The pizza test allowed us to test a basic function of a toaster oven, bake, and took up 25% of the performance score. It was also a good indicator of the oven's capacity. For this test, we baked a store-bought 9-inch thick crust meat pizza, frozen pizza thawed to room temperature at 450 degrees F until our head chef deemed it ready. If the oven has a convection system, we apply the strongest setting available. The scoring components for the pizza test include Cooking time, 20% The amount of time for the toaster oven to bake the pizza at 450 degrees F to get the best possible result compared to our average tested units 
a too short or too long cooking process can compromise the quality of the crust and toppings as well as its taste. Crust 20% The crust is evaluated based on its color and texture. It affects the taste and also reflects the oven ability to maintain temperature and distribute heat evenly. Toppings 30% The toppings are evaluated based on how well cooked the meat, vegetables and cheese are. They affect the taste and also reflect the oven's ability to maintain temperature and distribute heat evenly. Taste 30% The taste of a pizza is the combination of the crust and the toppings. The taste is the deciding factor of a good pizza. However, it's subjective and so requires the expertise provided by our head chef. When it comes to big family meals, a whole roasted chicken is usually a dish to impress. And for good reasons, right? Then, a capable toaster oven can save you a lot of trouble before, during, and after the cooking. Thus, we chose roasted whole chicken to be the subject of our next test, for reasons similar to the pizza test, and assigned it 25% of the overall performance score. In addition, it allowed us to test the oven's rotisserie kit and air fryer basket if available. For this test, we roasted a 3-pound whole chicken at 350 degrees F at the max convection setting, also under the supervision of a head chef. As the goal is to test the performance of a toaster oven, we simply season the chicken with salt and pepper. The scoring components for the whole roasted chicken test include Cooking time 20% The amount of time to roast the chicken at 350 degrees F to get the best possible result compared to our average tested units. A too short or too long cooking time can compromise the quality of the skin and thinness as well as taste. Skin 20% The chicken skin is evaluated based on its color and crispiness. It affects the taste of the chicken as a whole and also reflects the oven ability to maintain temperature and distribute heat evenly. Doneness 20% The doneness of a whole roasted chicken is based on the meat's appearance and internal temperature, 460 degrees F to 180 degrees F according to the USDA. It affects how dry and moist the meat is and therefore the chicken's taste as a whole. It also reflects the oven ability to maintain temperature and distribute heat evenly. Taste 40% The taste of a chicken is the combination of the skin and the meat. It's the deciding factor of a good whole roasted chicken. However, it's subjective and so requires the expertise provided by our head chef. French fries are one of the most common side dishes, not to mention a yummy snack on their own. And with the public's growing health consciousness, more and more people have started to bake or air fry their fries instead of frying them in oil. So the test for baking french fries takes up 10% of our performance score for a toaster oven. For this test, we baked 12 ounces of frozen straight cut 9x9 fries at 400 degrees F on the max convection setting, also under the supervision of our head chef. Our choice of fries comes already coated in vegetable oil, so we didn't have to add any. The scoring components for the french fries test include Cooking time 20% The amount of time to bake or air fry the fries to the best possible result compared to our average tested units. A too short or too long cooking time can compromise the color, texture and taste. Color 20% The fries color is affected by its evenness. It reflects the oven's heat distribution and also affects how crispy the outside of the baked fries are. Texture 20% The fries texture both on the outside and the inside which is affected by its evenness. Crispy outside reflects the oven ability to maintain temperature and distribute heat evenly. Meanwhile, a moist inside means that the fries aren't baked for too long that they dry out. Taste 40% the taste of baked fries is affected by their cooking time, color, and texture. While subjective, taste is the deciding factor of good baked fries. Therefore, the components that made up the taste of baked fries are personally evaluated by our head chef. Design 25% The design takes up 25% of the overall score for our toast oven test. The toaster oven's design is important as familiarity and aesthetic preference heavily influence the customer's first impression. It also helps you a certain value for money by reflecting material durability, build quality, functionality, usability, and performance. 
we decided on three aspects to evaluate exterior, interior, and build quality. Exterior, 20%. We decided to score the exterior of a toaster oven based on the construction of everything on the outer shell. This included air ventilation holes, the oven door, handles, and also the removable cum tray if available. Interior, 30%. We determined the score for the interior of toaster ovens regarding the construction of the cooking chamber. This comprised the coating, internal lighting, number of tray levels, and type and number of heating elements. Build quality, 50%. The build quality is the most inclusive scoring factor of the design. This consists of material durability, design sturdiness, good assembly, working mechanics, and integrated safety mechanisms. Usability, 25%. Usability takes up 25% of the overall score for our toaster oven test. If you are able to check the oven now in store and find it easy to use right from the first try, it may as well be an instant decision to purchase. The manufacturer's attention to convenient user interaction will also give you a better idea of the oven's value for money. In our case, we do the first and many following tries and present the result for you to decide. We chose three scoring factors which were user control, ease of use, and cleanability. User control, 30%. We assess the user control concerning the convenience of the control panel. This covers interactions with functional inputs, mechanical control knobs, buttons, and digital display. Ease of use, 50%. The ease of use is a consistent factor throughout all of our tests. This consists of our experiences with the internal lighting, heat insulation, convenient accessories, automatic features, readjusting cooking settings, and good safety mechanisms. Cleanability, 20%. Although straightforward, it may be discouraging to keep using a toaster oven if it's difficult to clean. The cleanability comprises how easy it is to clean the inside and the outside. Hands-on experiences with testing the products brought us perspective that our team at Healthy Kitchen 101 could never think of by simply ringing up information. Thus, results show that only the candidates with the highest score all around can become our pick for the best toaster oven in every aspect. You can check it out here or maybe something else here. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.